So this is going to work. Tell me if you can see or hear me. Yes, please. And as always, it always takes a while for the comments to kind of pop up. So yeah, but as you can probably see above, the people that uh, are here uh, so far is yes, we're talking Nexus 4 tonight. So if you've got any questions about the Nexus 4, I did manage to get my hands on an Nexus 4, so lucky on me. And a free TV, well, hey. Uh, but yeah, if you want to ask any questions about the Nexus 4, either tweet me, at Sam J. Pullum, which I'll just bring up there now, or leave comments down below, and I will try and get through them individually. Again, it's sometimes hard to see them, but I'll do my best to view them uh, as and when they come up. So yeah, let's uh, get kicked off. Um, where is everybody? I always like to ask everyone where they're from as well. Where's everybody coming from tonight? Obviously, you probably know that I'm from West Yorkshire in England. But whereabouts are you from? You know, let me know, and hopefully the comments will finally start up again. He says. Ah, here we go. I got a couple of comments now. Da -da -da. I can see, but can't hear anything. Can people actually hear me? Yep. I can see you, I can see you, sweet. So we have people from Sweden, Norway, Scotland and Manchester so far. I always love to see my Nordic people in the house. I always seem to have quite a few people from that uh, part of the world. So welcome once again, welcome once again. But yeah, um, I obviously I've promised to do a live stream for a while and just haven't got around to it, but I have done now. And we have somebody from Romania, welcome. Um, right, I can finally see the comments now, so I can finally start seeing what you're doing properly. Looks like we have two people from Romania, so Romania is in the house. Right, hello Stephen, Stephen's uh, always a regular for the live streams. How you doing Steve? Everything okay? We have Glenn, is it Glenn from Malta? Hi Glenn, how's, how's life? Um, hi Sam, how are you? I've had some of the Dark Raptor 1, 2, 3. I'm doing pretty damn spiffy today. Started out as a bit of a not not too sure what to do today, but as it went along, I'm like, yep. Got myself the Nexus 4, came home, uh, tweeted a O2, because I did buy the phone from O2. And it says, can I have one of those free TVs? Luckily, um, I was picked as one of the people to get one of the TVs, so I got a 32 inch TV to go with my Nexus 4. I thought, awesome. And if you've not been watching my tweets, uh, I'm also like I might be on TV soon as well, so that could be pretty fun. Hopefully. Da -da -da. Right, so we have da -da -da. comments seem to be yeah they always have a like do the is it hold hold the salt or hold the salt yeah the comments are always bloody slow to update but it is as it is. Uh, yes, yeah, Steve, I'm not too bad, buddy. Um, as I said, you know, today's went from a to a yes, awesome kind of day. All right, all right, fella, show me the money. I don't have any money. All plastic money is what I have. I always carry that. How would you rate the camera in the Nexus 4? The camera's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's not, to be honest with you, it's not the best quality in the world. Um, it's probably on par with the iPhone 5 and the Galaxy S3 is the honest answer. Um, it's not as good as the Xperia T. No, that's still probably got the best camera I've seen on, on a smartphone. But it wasn't exactly the best phone, so, you know. But the speed of it, I mean, to get to the actual camera now, when you do, when you do this here, you no longer get the camera options. You only get unlock, get to the camera, you basically swipe on it like that, and the camera pops up like that. So that's a new way of getting to the camera. I'm going to fall like, no, bug off. Obviously, the camera application is now the new one. It's hard to try and show you, there we go. So obviously you've got all your different kind of settings and whatnot. But no, 
so far so good. That's one little issue I've seen is that it unlocks the phone straight away, so it is as it is. Um, from David Hender, the stream keeps stopping. Um, is everyone else having that issue or is it just, just Dave? We also have, you look cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, my New York Yankees cap on. As you all know, I love my baseball caps and this is one of my new to the collection. Um, so yeah, no, the camera so far, I've, I've put a, I did a picture on, uh, tweeted a picture out of some avocados, um, show what the quality looks like. And it's nice and, f it's nice and fast. It's fast, it's snappy. There's nothing wrong with the camera. Is it gonna replace your normal compact camera? Probably not, is the only answer. You know, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie about it. Right, here we go. We have some more questions now. They're finally updated. The big thing in Pakistan is the S3 and the iPhone 5. You think this is a worthy competitor, more snappy than the S3? Um, and that's from, is that Hello 6's Tech? Um, yeah, it's it's just as snappy, if not more snappy than my Galaxy S3. Now, all you all know, I absolutely adore my Galaxy S3. So I'm not going to come in and go, oh, this is rubbish, it's rubbish. This phone is still the bee's knees. This one just is a different take on it. Obviously, Android, pure Android against what Samsung want you to have. Now, the honest answer is, is one better than the other? Yes and no. You know, this one out of the box, dare I say it, like an iPhone, just works. Sometimes on the Galaxy device, I do see myself wanting to customise it more, um, to put some, you know, come some root it and put some extra stuff on it. Whereas with the Nexus device, I'm kind of happy just being out of the box. I'm not, I'm not even going to look at rooting it just yet. Um, I may do in the future, but you don't need it, or I don't seem like I need it on a Nexus device. And that's that kind of speaks volumes for stock Android over something like the, you know, over something like TouchWiz. You know, I actually take TouchWiz off my devices because I'm not a massive fan of it. I just like the, the hardware that Samsung produced, the, the processor. But this processor is probably the best processor on the market, so. We have another one. We have just him. Just me. Uh, are you missing AMOLEDs, the blacks? This is something we're talking to Kurt um, on, on Twitter. I think it's Nitros. I, I never see it properly. Um, and he's got he's got himself a Galaxy. A, a Galaxy. He's, he's played with a Galaxy, like a Galaxy Nexus. He's played with the S2s and stuff like that. And he got himself a, a Nexus 4. And his initial impression was, wow, the screen on this thing is absolutely fantastic. And I will agree with that. The screen on it is just like pin sharp. Now for him, he's kind of missed the AMOLED blacks. For me, because I've been running it with an iPhone, because I've been running the iPhone 5 along with the S3, I've kind of got used to less blacks. Whereas these blacks are better than the iPhone blacks. So it's kind of like a compromise between the iPhone screen and AMOLED screen. Honest answer is at the moment I've not I'm not missing the blacks, but again I've only had it for a, a couple of hours. I've only had it since like three three or four o'clock today. So ask me in another couple of days, and I'll probably give you to get better answer at that point. Right, we have the stream is fine, cool. Any idea of the twenty thousand subscriber giveaway? That Stephen will be announced on the twenty thousand subscriber uh, video, um, and basically it's more of an incentive for when I get to it, for people to go like, right, what's I'm giving away? So we'll soon see. Um, the giveaway kind of obviously has changed over its course as to what it was, as to what it's gonna be. Still the same process, just less videos. It's for, this, for the same amount, so there's no real difference in what I'm giving away. Hey Sam, uh, what do you think I should buy, a Galaxy Note 2 or a Nexus 4? The answer to that is, do you want a 4.7 inch screen or do you want a five inch display? If you want a bigger display, you have to go the Note. If you don't, it's then a competition between the Nexus and the S2. Three. <laughs> so th these, these are the competition. The Note's not in this kind of competition, personally. These two are head to head. The Note, it's in its own little different league because it's a phablet. It's not really a mobile phone, whereas that's what I class these ones as. Right, let's have a quick look at Twitter. Got quite a few tweets. Um, did I order it through the Play Store? I didn't order it through the Play Store, no, I actually purchased it in an O2 shop. Um, what are retailers selling the Nexus 4 unlocked in the UK? £399. I managed to get a discount on it. And then one TV. So, 
Normally, yes, 70 quid extra is a bit of a pain in the ass, but I've got it three weeks before most people are going to get theirs. So I'm kind of happy with that. But then I got a free TV, 32 inch LG TV chucked in. I can't complain. I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of chuffed for, for that. Um, did I get the pay as you go on? Uh, did I get the Nexus form pay as you go? Yes, I did. I did not get a contract. Right, got some more questions coming in now. And we have hi, a big um, a big hi from Egypt, Sam. Hi to Egypt as well. I think the next big thing in mobile tech is going to be full HD screens. I'm personally kind of against full HD screens. Maybe it's just me, but again, speak to people on Twitter. I think 720p for this kind of size device is good enough. Battery technology is not good enough yet, is the honest answer. When battery technology gets better, then yes, 1080p screen is going to be fantastic. But currently, I think 720p, it looks fantastic on a mobile phone. Um, you know, we used to have WVGA and that looked pretty nice. 720p is pretty much in the perfect kind of ballpark for 4.5 to 5 inch devices. But even the Galaxy Note 2 looks bloody nice as well. So, you know, I'm not personally a big fan of going 1080p. If I got it in front of me, I'd be like, wow. But then I'll see my battery go, wow. I want a better battery, not, not potentially a better screen personally yes Matt's on is my bitch <laughs> yes let's see if we can get that going again that, that was funny last time um, da, 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 da. oh look Matt's on is actually here eh? what's that sort of all about don't answer my Skype calls but he'll uh, come to a YouTube live stream what can I say what can I say Bill Cutler um, Bill Cutler the Nexus 4 fan bloody tastic I was surprised at how great this device is. Obviously, it's glass on the front, the back, and the front. Um, but I wouldn't worry about that. That it, it kind of just feels nice in the hand. It doesn't feel cheap. But it doesn't feel like it's not weighty, but it's not too light. You're gonna go, ooh, where's it gone? Ooh, where's it gone? You know, it's in your hand. You can feel it in your hand. I personally like the size of it as well. I can get my camera there. I like the size of it, it's kind of perfect for me. You know, get pretty much across all the screens. Like a little bit there, I can't get to, but that's what I was finger for. Boom. You got, you got two hands, people. Just saying. Right. Is there any website I can get the Nexus 4? Um, unfortunately not. eBay is probably going to be only bet if you're going to want to get a Nexus 4, like, now. We also have, um, why do you think the iPhone is so popular for kids in Sweden? They don't know what phone is best, really. They Nothing beats the iPhone. The honest answer, marketing. Marketing is key to everything. Look at Samsung. They've gone from having the Galaxy devices to, who are they? They've kind of got the, the people on board that don't like the iPhone, that are dead against the iPhone. Like, ah, the iPhone sucks, I hate Apple. They've got that kind of crowd. So you've got your two camps now. Normally you'd think it's Android versus Apple. It's not really now, or Android versus iOS. It seems to be more like Galaxy devices versus iPhones. That's the kind of market plus we're going to. And I personally hope that devices like the Nexus brings it back to more of an Android versus iOS kind of competition. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see one t one company dominate Android. I want to see all companies have a fair chance of making them all. Right, isn't stock Android a bit boring and um, feature like compared to say TouchWiz? Um, I had CM10 for a couple of days and there's much not much happening. The thing is, with stock, the thing is, you had Cyanogen mod, and obviously with certain parts of Cyanogen mod. They take stuff out, they put their own stuff in. What do you want a phone to do? I want my phone to text people, to possibly call people. I know we don't do much calling nowadays. Tweet people, you know, check, check all my social media, play maybe some great games now and again. Angry Birds Star Wars is currently my favourite game. Um, that's it. What else do you want your phone to do? Do you want it to wipe your ass? Because they're not going to do it anytime soon. You know, it does everything that a smartphone in today's age is meant to do. It might not look as flashy as some ways of, like they said, the Galaxy devices do it, but it still does everything a Galaxy device can do, and potentially more going forward. Because these devices generally get updated very regular. You'll find out that car you know, other kind of carrier branded ones, and obviously manufactured OEMs, don't get updated as quick. So, I'm a fan of stock Android. Yes, I, would, I do like some of the Samsung kind of extras. Uh, personally, my favourite thing, one reason why I've still got a Galaxy ROM on this is for the screen capture where you go like that. If it wasn't for that, I'd be on stock Android. I'll probably AOKP. That's my that's my personal favorite for stock Android. 
da -da 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 -da. where is it? I've got touch whizzy shit. I can't disagree. <laughs> we have here we go. Hey Sammy boy. Hello. Is that is it Compal? Compal. We have Kurt. It seems there only be me and one person face to face. I wonder if it's just uh, <laughs> as I was saying with uh, Kurt on Twitter. Uh, Nitros K. I'm pretty sure I'll say it wrong. Um, yeah, he got a Nexus phone. Fortunately, his SIM card, does, his SIM card trade, well, the actual SIM card, what reading his phone. So he's got the first ever, or one of the world's first ever Nexus Four Wi-Fi editions. I think it's a, you know, it's a special edition. If I, if I were you, could keep it. Since he got the free DV, put it in the giveaway. Hell no, I'll be selling that bad boy to buy something for the giveaway. I'm not shipping that bloody thing to India or Australia or America. Think of the shipping costs. What would you recommend, HTC One X or an Nexus 4? Currently, an Nexus 4. Um, I, I'd got, and I, as much as I love HTC, there's certain things about the One X that just annoy me. It, need, it, needs, it needs fixing, personally. Unless you're gonna root it and stick stock Android in it, then whichever one you like the work, then you know, whichever you like better. The process is better than the Nexus 4 than it is the One X. Um, I've heard that when you shake your phone, it makes a rattling sound. Can you confirm? Nope. Can you hear it? <clears throat> no. The only thing that moves is the volume button. Obviously, like on all phones, it wants to focus. It don't want to focus. That moves, but the phone itself and stuff inside it, no, no rattling at all. I seem like I eat full shaking my phone on camera. Um, digging the new cap. Thank you very much, Adrian. You know, it's one of my one of my new favourite caps. I'm actually getting this in a varied amount of colours. Uh, it's one of the proper Yankees ones. It's a pretty awesome one. Uh, how do I feel about the HTC Butterfly J slash Droid DNA? Um. <laughs> yeah, I'll read that in a minute from what Matt just said on Twitter. Um, the dry DNA, as a concept, it's a cool idea. Sticking a 2020 amp milliamp battery in it, major fail on a 1080p screen. Person needs a 3000 milliamp battery as minimum. You know, make it a tiny bit fatter. I don't need the manufacturers think of make your phone a little bit bigger, stick more battery inside it. Just saying. Sam, my Galaxy is too starting to die on me now. Um, so what's the best battery you can get? Um, it depends, Steve, if you want to expand the actual battery itself or root it, stick a custom ROM in it that's going to you know, give you better battery life. That would be my choice, personally, if I were you. Should I send my Galaxy 3 and get a, a Nexus 4 as my, daily, my, as my daily phone? I have a 16 gigabyte Galaxy 3 um, and they're going for 350 on eBay. I think the question you need to ask yourself, really, um, and that's from... What's up, gamer? What you need to ask yourself really is for that one is, do you like your Galaxy device? Do you do you like how it works, um, or is it just the core features that you like it you like to work? If it's the core features, I think a Nexus device is better for ninety percent of people because the core features are Android. The little add-ons are made by Samsung are made by HTC. But if you want the core features of the phone and you want it to work as it should, get a Nexus device. That's and even the next Galaxy Nexus, it still seems as fast as an S3 because of the pure Google experience. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. Just been watching Chris Brillo's VOG, uh, his Nexus 4 video slipping off his desk uh, on its own. Funny as hell. How can it slip off? Has it got like a desk that's like this? <laughs> you know, it's, if it's, it's pretty flat, it shouldn't really come off. Oh, and this is one thing that I didn't know, I forgot it had. Should come up now, sometime soon. Oh, it's not gonna really work now, is it? There we go. The LED notification, just like the Galaxy Nexus is in, as at the bottom of the device. Fan bloody tastic, I love that. Um, yeah, Matt Son has put on Twitter, watching Sam Lejapon's live stream. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what else do you want your phone to do? Wipe your ass? It's true, it's... You know, you probably people know people that speak to me. Matt probably knows better than most people at the moment. You know, I say as it is. That's pretty much how how I currently see it at the moment. 
Right, here we go. Uh, can I get a demo on lock screen widgets? I will do a demo of some of the phone a little, uh, in about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna show you some of the key features of the device. So I'll come back to that one in a moment for you, Nigel. Uh, you don't think Windows Phone has a, ah, where's it gone? You don't think Windows has a chance to break into the iOS or Android level. It depends what you mean by that. In terms of user base, it's never gonna to get to the user base that both iOS and Android's got. In terms of level of operating system, it's already on iOS's tails, if not beating iOS. It still needs tweaking. It still needs a better notification system. Um, I don't know if you've watched John Rettinger's from John Follaker's Techno Buffalo. He's written his rant yesterday with regards to how it doesn't de deals with notifications. It still needs a notification kind of area, center, whatever they want to call it. It does, it does still need that. Uh, if they get that fixed, personally, I prefer it than iOS because it's not boring. It's got something to it. Galaxy beats the iPhone. The thing I like about Android is the is most um, is that most phones can have it uh, compared to Apple devices and Apple's. That's very true, Steve. Basically, you want an iPhone, it's an Apple phone. If not, then you don't get one deal. Let's be honest. Um, Sony Xperia T on Nexus Four, Nexus Four all day long, personally. As good as the Nexus, the Nexus is the Xperia T camera is, it's not worth it for the phone features. It's just, I don't like the Sony software. The hardware is nice. Software is pretty crap. It's to put it, to put it in, a, in a, on an honest answer for you. Isn't RVP fantastic? Robin Van Persie is fan bloody -tastic. Can you tell us uh, how the price change in the Galaxy S3 with the memory size changes from the 16 to 32? Um, I honestly don't know because we only sell a 16 gigabyte in the UK, I believe. So I honestly don't know with regards to that. Personally, if you're going to get a Galaxy device, get the 16 gig and buy micro SD memory. It makes it so much cheaper. Yeah, I'm more powerful battery for the Galaxy S2 from Steve. Um, I have the Mugen battery, uh, 3200 milliamp. That's the one that i um, currently banging in mine. If you want a slightly bigger one, the Samsung sell a, 20, a 2000 milliamp battery. So it gives you a bit of a boost. Uh, but I recommend Mugen. Uh, I've had nothing but pleasure with using Mugen. My S3 has currently got the Mugen back back on it. So yes, it makes my S3 a beast, but at the same time, that's got 4,600 milliamp hours inside it, over twice the size of the standard battery. Right, we also have, hey Sam, what custom ROM do you recommend for the Galaxy 3? Because I'm thinking of flashing uh, and making it better battery life. And that's from Adrian, which is pimp your iPhone 3G. Um, I always run Omega or Omega, however you want to say it. I bet Matt Sanders is probably laughing right now because I always say that. Um, go check that out. That's what I run on my personal devices. On my, if you want to keep it stock looking, you know, but faster with better battery life, and faster with better battery life, then Omega, Omega, however you want to say it, that's my recommendation. What new features would you like on the Galaxy S4? Um, that's from Gamer Ops. Is it Op? Up, up is um, the wipe your ass feature would be pretty cool if you ask me. No, why not? We have another from Twitter. Uh, can you tell us how you got the discount on Auto and the Nexus 4? Unfortunately, not. That's between me and the person in store. Other pe oh, people who know me will know how I did, but unfortunately, not. No. Sam, you have a notification? Do, do I? Where? Did that's from the Terminator? Uh, I use the Google, I use Go Launcher and Go Locker, so I don't really use Touch's features. See, Go Launcher used to be my kind of, I used to use it in the past, but it kind of got a bit, honestly, more like Touch was. It got just a bit kind of bogged down. Uh, my personal favorite for a, for a replacing launcher is Nova and then Binova Prime. Um, is the camera good enough? The lens looks like it's kind of small to let enough light in. Um, Depends on what you're looking at. I mean, if you look at the, the lens itself, if you look at the lens on that one there, there, and then you look at like something like the iPhone 5, what's the focus? There's not a massive difference, in all honesty. It's not going to focus properly, no, it's not. There's not a massive difference, so I wouldn't worry about that, the honest answer. It looks, it looks fine, it, it looks good enough. How is Nexus different from the Gal from the Galaxy Nexus? I own a Galaxy Nexus pretty much and still still in love with it. And that's from Mark Blue. Um, two secs, I'll just get the Galaxy Nexus and I'll show you. So 
So when you look at them like that, there's not a massive difference if you look at them side by side. In terms of size, the Galaxy Nexus is a tiny bit taller. In terms of thickness, you're probably looking at the Nexus looks a little bit smaller. Not much, but in all honesty, when you look at them like that, the power buttons are identical in terms of where they are. Volume buttons are a little bit lower on the Galaxy Nexus than it is on the Nexus 4. Differences on the back. You know, this is where the big boy comes out to play. You, know, you get a much nicer looking back on this one. This looks a little cheap and boring. But this one looks really nice and it looks more premium. But the, the main difference is it's very similar screen, seven, uh, same screen resolution. The big difference is the process and the RAM. You're talking quad core against dual core, two gig of RAM versus one gig of RAM. It depends what you want. How is the aperture on the Nexus 4 camera? Um, you know, I've not taken many pictures. I did a couple of pictures when we were out earlier. Uh, if you go to my Twitter, you'll see I, I posted a picture up there earlier of some avocados. Um, it says bananas, but no, they were definitely avocados. I'm pretty sure they were. Um, but yeah, check those. Check those. Um, da -da -da. We also have how long will it take until the Galaxy S3 is all just outdated? A year and year and a half, maybe two years. Thing is, with phones nowadays, they get outdated in six months. You know, as soon as the S3 were launched, six weeks to you know to eight weeks later, we're thinking, what's the S4 going to be like? We're always thinking ahead. Which is good in some ways, but in some ways, like, really? Really? You know? I've only got a certain amount of money in my back pocket. I can't really afford to keep buying all these bloody phones. Uh, Tony War. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to read that one. I know there's a big difference, but Galaxy Note 2 or Nexus 4. Um, again, the, the, the Tominator, it depends if you want a bigger screen or a smaller screen. If you want a bigger screen, you have to go Note 2. If you don't want a bigger screen, then Nexus 4 is the next choice. Again, I'll, I've, I said it earlier, but my personal opinion is the phones on in competition with each other is the S3 and the Nexus 4. They're, they're the competition. The Note 2 is not in this kind of competition. It's these two that are in the competition with each other. Similar screen size, processor, cameras, everything's very similar. Obviously, different variations of them, but these are two of the most similar devices on the market. The Note... Not really, that's not really. I don't think the Note, the Note 2 is in the, the same kind of category at the moment. Yes, I'm a, um, I'm on Amiga Boss ROM. Hell yes, Faddy. It's Boss, man. It's Boss. Where I'd say it, I think it's very, very good. <laughs> um, how did you get an LG TV? O2 kindly said, you have won this TV. Hey, hey. So like, thank you very much, O2. I love you. Hey Sam, iPhone 5 what case do you suggest, uh, do you suggest, to suggest for style and protection? Go pick up the SPG Spigen, um, and this is the ultra thin air. This is the one I run on my iPhone 5, which once I've done the comparison with against the Nexus 4, boom, see you later iPhone, it will be Android all the way again, unfortunately, for the iOS people that may follow me. Could you make a comparison video between the Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus 4? I'm considering doing that, Mark. Um, it depends what kind of time I get on my hands. Um, but yes, it's definitely something that some people have asked for. So it's something I'll be looking into doing. I am going to test the LG Optimus G. Um, and that's from... Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, thanks, bye. Um, it depends. I don't know if it's getting to launch in the UK, is the honest answer. If it does, then potentially. Um, if I can get my hands on one. But I've kind of come to the conclusion I'm no longer just buying devices outright just to review. I bought the Nexus 4 because I want it as my own personal phone. Um, but yeah, I'm not just going to keep buying devices. I bought the iPads, you know, it's nice. It's £750 that it's just out of my pocket, you know, so, you know, I can't really afford to keep buying the devices. If the companies want to send me them or I can get some, they can send me them, then yes, I review anything I could possibly get my hands on. But currently, it's not on the radar just yet. We have one from your mom. Yeah. Do you prefer the, the pure Google experience that the Nexus has to offer or the luxuries of the Galaxy S3? I love my uh, I love my Galaxy S3. Um it depends. I like the again, there's I don't like the I don't I don't know what the luxuries are that most people like. 
the only one that I really do love on my S3 is the capturing via your palm. That's pretty much the only one I really use. So obviously, if you know, as you know, the S3, basically swipe across and boom, it does a screenshot. If I could get an app like that for a Nexus device, I probably wouldn't go Samsung. He's done his answer. Are you going to get a Nexus 10 from Ophanis? Probably not. I'm not a fan of Android tablets. How, how could he say that, Sam? You're an Android fanboy. How could you not like the Android tablets? Android is not ready for tablets. The applications are not ready for, for tablets. Sorry, it's just it's how I feel. Uh, what would you suggest for the iPhone 5? Um, that's the one I said earlier for that one, Toasted Microwave Bros. What's a short speed? Zero lag. Bloody fast, is, if, if that's if you want to call it that. Um, can you can you ask S Voice to speak to other uh, speak other languages live? Um, S Voice doesn't like my voice. He doesn't understand me. <laughs> I don't know why. Everyone everyone can understand me in this live stream, can they? Hopefully. Um, can you compare the screen on the S3 to the Nexus 4? That's something I'll, pro I'll probably be doing. Um, initial impressions are the Nexus 4 screen looks sharper, um, and that's probably because of the IGB and the IPS display of the um, Super AMOLED, which is the older version of the one the Note 2 uses. The Note 2 uses a much nicer version of Super AMOLED HD than the S3 does, unfortunately. Um, uh, bye bye Apple. Yeah, that's correct, Adrian. As much again, I'm on. A, I'm doing this on an iMac. You know, I've got. I've got. I've currently got three iPads in this room. My iPhone five, Apple TV. So it's not that I hate Apple. It's just that the iPhone's not the best phone. It's a fact. How common the Nexus four? It's horrible and choppy on the Note two. I've been honest with you. Okay, thanks. Bye. I'm not a massive fan of of Chrome on mobile devices at the moment. And dare I say it, Chrome works better on an, I, an iPhone and an iPad than it does on an Android device, which to me is completely backwards. But at the moment, that's just the reality of it. So I'm not a massive fan of it. Uh, on my S3, I, I use the, the stock browser. I don't use Chrome. So I'm going to have to get it used in Chrome again, um, unless they start using Dolphin, because Dolphin's a good alternative. But yeah, um, anyway, I'm just going to show you some of the widgets on the Nexus 4. Da, 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 da. No, you're speaking a different language. Yeah, no, Steve. Um, but let's be honest, my language is awesome. Right, I'm going to see if I can get my camera, camera to focus. I'm going to try and hold it. I'm going to try and do this one-handed while having the camera. So... Bear with me while I try and do this, people. Right, I'll take that stupid thing off screen. So obviously here it is. Here's the Nexus device itself. Now here's your normal lock screen. Now as you normally expect, on your lock screen, you know, you have you have your little unlock. Now, oh, I've, I've didn't mean to do that feature. I'll show you that in a moment or two. That's the new accessibility features in Android 4.2. So to unlock it, you can now just don't pull it it's going to slide around, isn't it? Oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. It's to go anywhere about there, and you can lock it anywhere. To bring up your camera now, what you do is you actually slide this across, and it jumps straight into your camera application. So that's now how you access your camera from the lock screen. You no longer do it at the bottom. It's all straight there. So I'll turn it off, turn it back on. Now for other widgets, which you probably see here, I've actually got Falcon. So this is the, a nice Twitter, Twitter widget I recommend. And that's called Falcon, and then you slide it across again, you can add another one. So you can't use all of them, the applications need to be updated to actually use this. These are the current ones that I've got that I can use. So if it wants to focus properly, the screen might be a little bright for it. But this is Series Guide, which I use. Messaging, which obviously you can see now. You've got your Gmail, Falcon, and the clock. And last but not least, you've got Calendar. So they're the only ones you can currently use out of the box. Now Falcon, the Falcon one and Series Guide, they're not available. So you're looking at calendar, digital clock, Gmail, and messaging. They're the only ones you can use out of the box of stock. Apart from that, you're pretty much snookered is the honest answer. 
but again, if you want to, basically if you want to go back, click back, and then you're unlocked. That's one thing I'm not too sure about is it just unlocking the phone. It, I think if you go back, it should take you back to the lock screen. Now this what I'm using is HD Wizards, if everyone keeps asking. Uh, everyone will ask in a moment or two. Um, obviously you've got the new kind of little settings toggle there. So you've got your different, uh, your profile, you've got your brightness, your settings, your you know, um, Wi-Fi, uh, your network. I'm trying to read two screens at once. Battery, airplane and Bluetooth. Now, one thing I'm not too keen on is if you actually want to turn your Wi-Fi on or off, you'd think you'd just tap it, but no, it's actually, it's not a toggle. It takes you in to the actual program itself. Now, I don't like that. I think that the notification itself there, you should turn it on or off, turn it on or off. Again, turn it on or off, on or off. You know, this one here, fair enough, it's gonna go straight to your battery and show what the battery's like, but you know, everywhere else, no, you shouldn't do that. Now, I'll try and show you the two finger one. There we go, so that's two fingers. And one finger. So we go again. Ah, it didn't work that time, did it? So you got to have them both at the top, pull them down. And did you see it kind of flip across? Well, look, you can see it when it flips across there. Now you see, if you notice, you'll see when you start pulling it down, that's not, not bloody working now, is it? Ah, look at that, it don't want to work. Ah, you see it there? It sometimes registers it later on. That one was instantly. Other times, it doesn't register it properly. And that's because it's having to figure out both things on screen or not. Uh, obviously, most times it's okay, but sometimes it just, just doesn't register. I mean, that's the lock screen that I said I was going to show you at the beginning of the live stream. Um, but yeah, I mean, what do you think of that? Is that something you want on your Android device? Or is it a gimmick? I think the Twitter is personally a cool idea having Twitter on your lock screen. No, no faffing around. Trying to get my tweet on Sam's live stream. <laughs> yes, Matt, you got your tweet on my live stream. Um, unless you're on about the lock screen, then unfortunately, no, you didn't You didn't work out, Matt, unfortunately. Um, is that coming for the Note 2? I don't know, it depends whether Samsung decides to stick it on their, on their kind of lock screen. Now, my problem with that, <laughs> Is can you imagine that on here? How the hell would you get to it? Unlock, ah crap. You're gonna have a choice, having the cool Samsung kind of blah de blah one where you tap along, bring it back on, where it looks cool, or having your widgets. You're not gonna be able to have both. Hi Sam, um, it's Monia from Jordan. I have a question about the battery life. Have you tested that yet? Um, Money, I've not had it long enough to give a full impression on the battery life. So far, it seems okay, but I don't know his honest answer. Um, I've had it on for like five hours. It came with, I think about 50% battery, about 56% battery. Um, and I'm currently running 24% battery in about five hours. And I've been using it quite a bit. So initial indication seems pretty good but I won't know for, a, I can't really give a, a, my impression for about three or four days, the honest answer. Um, I have screen burn on my Galaxy S2 and they're slight tinged of yellow. Have you noted problems with AMOLED screens? Apparently that is an issue with some Galaxy S2s and that's from Dwelling666. Yeah, some people have those issues. I never had it with mine, with my Galaxy S2. My Galaxy S2 is still a beast, it looks amazing but some people, they do have the issue, so I honestly don't know is the honest answer to that one. Um, right, here we go. More questions. Hoping to get the Nexus 4 tomorrow. Hoping I'm not disappointed, that's from Pab Score. Yeah, hopefully you shouldn't be. Hello, Sam, it's Matt47 here. Hello, Matt47, how's life? Do you prefer seven or 10 inch, 10 -inch tablets? Um, 7.9 inch. Hmm, what was he talking about? Let's have a look, here we go. Right, da da da. Where's it gone? So, streams. Two seconds. There we go. So I'm just gonna refresh it. Sorry about this, it just keeps um, stopping all the comments. Uh, where else can I get a Nexus 4? The one that, okay, it looks like it's refreshed all the comments. It's going good, thank you, how's yours? Yeah, not too bad, uh, not too bad, not too bad at all. 
Paul Borland, you should have said it with you, Paul. Uh, I know you from Twer, you should have said. We work with Google, but how we wish. Speaking SGP. Oh. I saw my Epic Galaxy 2 for the Nexus 4, now I have neither. Pretty tough is that, mate? It's pretty tough is that. Um, hey, Brass and Bryce, say hi. Have you tried out the games and the awesome IPS display yet? Um, not yet, um, Jared. Um, I hope I said your name right there. Uh, I've not had a chance. I've played Angry Birds Space, which looks pretty awesome. No? Star Wars. I keep saying space. Ah! No, I'm using... I've played Angry Birds Star Wars. That's pretty damn special on the, on the actual screen itself. Uh, which, in our opinion, is the best phone company with Android? Google. There we go. Google is the best company with Android. <laughs> See if I can get some more comments here. Da -da -da. My S2 is fine. Yeah, that's Paul. Yeah, with uh, 18 months old. So have you checked the leaked jelly bean stock from for the S2? Uh, I've not. I don't use my S2 anymore. Um, I actually lend that to my mother. So she's the, she's the now the new proud running owner of that one. Monia, thanks Sam. Uh, waiting for your amazing videos. Thank you very much for that money. Much appreciated, buddy. Um, hi, Sam. Loving watch. Will you be doing an S3 versus Nexus 4 videos? Uh, yes, I will. And that's NZ Hip, is it Hip Hop Scaper? Uh, yes, I'll be doing Nexus 4 versus Galaxy S3 videos. That'll be one that a lot of people keep asking for, so yeah, I'll have to. <laughs> um, yep, that's my. Yeah, I hope, hopefully I said it right. Because I was like, is it Jared? Is it Jared? Uh, so Jared, I'll, I'll say it right. Nova three and Shogun Dead Zone. Yeah, I've I've not. I've been honest with you, I'm not a massive. I don't know if you ever watched any of my Nova one video with the Galaxy S two. <laughs> I'm not exactly good on first person shooters on touchscreen devices or control pads. Give me an alpha mouse and a keyboard, I will kick your ass. But apart from that, not not the best at the moment. I'll honest to. Uh, but no, I'll, I'm going to try Shadow. Is it Shadow good, isn't it? Yeah, I've I played it on the S3. It looked nice. So I'll probably have a look. I mean, you, you've played it on the Optimus G, and it's obviously the same, pretty much the same phone as this, just with LG's kind of st stuff already put on it. Hey, thought you wouldn't pay that much, uh, but you got it. Yeah. Uh, is it Oh Walker? Oh, yeah, Walker, yeah. It's because I got a discount, and then I got free TV, which I wasn't expecting, is the honest answer, but... To get a free 32 inch LG TV for 70 quid extra, and I go three weeks before everybody else is going to get theirs, it's a no brainer in all honesty. Um, have you ever any giveaways planned? Check my channel. Oh, that brings up a question Does the Nexus 4 have USB over? Oh, good question, actually, Jared. That's a good question. Um, where's my bloody cable gone? I tell you what, I'll check that for you now. I just get my from the family RTG cable. It's here somewhere. Here we go, live on camera. Nexus 4, does it do RTG? We shall soon see. Doesn't look like it. Just gonna change the settings to make sure it's all registered. Here we go. Try it again. That'll be a no, Jared. Uh, Jared. Oh, stupid. Uh, no, unfortunately not. It doesn't register it with any kind of. Not out of the box. People like Paul O'Brien will fix that, obviously, but it is a bit of a, a nuisance that Google Docs to include it straight out of the box. So no, unfortunately, OTG does not work on the Nexus 4. Why does the S2 HDMI cable work with the S3? Doesn't work with the S3, because the S3's got a brand new uh, kind of feature in it, uh, a H, uh, the micro USB for the MHL part. They upgrade MHL free of charge, the MHL Corporation. I agree uh, there, Jared. It's, pff, they should have done it. From Matt Saunders MCP on Twitter, 
Uh, have you ever used the Android Revolution ROM? Yes, Matthew, I have used it in the past. I used it before Omega, Amiga, but yeah, I've not gone. I've not gone back yet. There, to be honest with you, Matt. Yeah, it's a bit of a fail, is that Jared? It's it should work, but it don't. Unfortunately, it's it's a pain in the ass. To be honest with you. To be fair, when the door, when they only put sixteen or eight gig in it, personally, they should protect to give you that straight out of the box. It would set a lot of people's kind of you know hearts at rest because like, oh, I've only got sixteen gigabyte, but I can have a sixty-four gigabyte. You know, USB stick with me, and it works straight away, won't it? So it's how it is. People keep saying the Nexus Four has thermal threat, uh, thermal throttling issues. I'm kind of worried that uh, that. Uh, you should try running the GL benchmark three times, see what scores differ a lot. The thing is, though, forget benchmarks mean jack shit. Um, I said it on uh, uh, Jared's video a while ago. Smoking Android, by the way, go subscribe to him. Um, I said it a while ago on that, uh, on one of his videos, actually earlier today, is that benchmarks mean nothing. They're good to know, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, the experience is what you want. Benchmarks mean nothing. Is the Nexus 4 a smudge magnet? The front, actually not too bad. I can get a good a bit of a... Not too bad. The back, it's about the same in all honesty. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's got a couple of smudges on it. So you try to get light. Where's the little light gone? There we go, I can see a bit of it there. But it's not as bad as I was expecting. Best thing about it is... Clean. Super, super quick to clean it. Uh, just a six, yeah, just, yeah, exactly, Jared. Just took a sixty-four gig stick in your pocket, and it's perfect. You can have your movies. Plus, it's easier to get movies on Twitch. It's not having to hook your phone up. It's USB port straight in. Job done, and away you go. So that'd be my personal preference as well. But obviously, they've not. They've decided not to do that. But question to you: Does the LG Optimus G do it out of the box? Have you tested that one? Um, when will we start seeing third-party cases for the Nexus 4? Um, SGP Spigen have confirmed to me that they are developing cases for it. So we will see stuff from the higher manufacturers to create them. But we'll always see as Chinese and Japanese cheap imports, they're already available. It doesn't. Ah, so the, both the Optimus G and the Nexus 4 out of the box don't do it. Now, I hope that's not going to be a hardware limitation. It shouldn't be a hardware limitation. But you never really know, do you? So uh, who knows? I hope it's not. Um, people, be, I'm guessing people like Paul, Paul O'Brien and the Sage and what team, they'll be able to get OTG to work on it straight away. Why is Google shipping uh, shipping it with Chrome browser? It's lagging every phone the stock app. because they want everybody to use Chrome. I use Chrome on every device I use, bar my mobile devices currently. I use it on my iPad. Funnily enough, but and I use Chrome everywhere. Matt Sonner's MCP was one of those people that didn't use Chrome. He was a Safari fanboy. If you're still watching this, he's probably giggling, going, "Yeah, I was." He now uses Chrome because uh, Chrome is just it's just the best. Not on a mobile device though. I, I'm a bit mm, a mobile device, in all honesty. Hello everybody. That's for Mighty My TV. I hope so, Jared. Um, it's it needs it. Again, it'll put a lot of those people that are like, not too sure whether they should get it or not. It'll put their mind at rest. But, you know, it's it's how it works. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it's done. Hopefully from now on, it will definitely work. Got another question here, and it's, you're the best. Um, I do adore your video, Sam. Uh, thank you from Egypt. Well, thank you very much for that. It's very much appreciated uh, for you watching my videos as well. Uh, thank you. How was the reception on T-Mobile? I don't know. I don't run T-Mobile in, in my country. Well, it's in my country, but I don't run it on this phone. I won't be running this phone either. Can the HD One X be compared to the Nexus 4? It can be compared. Whether or not it competes is another matter. Personally, no. Um, to Matt, Matt's going to install Paranoid Android. Uh, Matt, if you, Revolution is a good ROM if you want to run it. Um, but Paranoid is a di in a different kind of league. It's obviously a different kind of realm altogether. Um, OTG on the go. Yeah, yeah. We're just saying there. Okay, thanks. By the um, smoke and Android, we're saying then that it's a no go out of the box. Yeah, thing is though, um, 
Shawan50. Um, we shouldn't have to download an application to do it. We shouldn't have to kind of hack the phone for it to work. It should work out of the box. That's the simple matter of it. Hey Sam, should I go for an Nexus 7 or Surface? Completely different devices, in honesty. Uh, Price-wise, completely different. The main question would generally be a Surface or an iPad, not a Nexus 7. Or it would be a Nexus 10 or a, Nex or an, or a Surface. So you've kind of, you're shooting in two different ballparks there. You need to choose which camp you want first. Seven inch or 10 inch, then go from there. So Omega version th uh, three, uh, 2.1, which version do you rock on yours? I've currently got, um, yeah, 32.1, but I've downloaded 33. It's ready to get installed on my device, but I'm currently rocking 32.1. Um, if you're going to give it a try, give 32.1 a try. 33 is going to be the newest one. That's one I've got ready to, to flash to mine. Can you go over the speaker on the Nexus 4? Um, <clears throat> I haven't really played with the speakers on the Nexus 4, to be honest with you. Let's see if I've got the Google Play Music installed on here. Da -da 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 Let's see what it sounds like here. This is it full volume? Now, for those people that don't know that, that is Machine Gun Keller, almost famous. Um, it sounded good, okay, not the best, but good. Uh, the bass, like everything else, lacking, no bass in it at all. And that's the problem with it. Uh, have you seen the Droid DNA? Um, I asked spoke about the Droid DNA earlier. It's, yeah, it's all right. It's, it's a 1080p screen with, with, with a small battery. Not good enough. Um, can you do this? I've done that. Sam, I have bought a Galaxy 2 after I saw your review, uh, which were great by the way. Thank you very much. But I have one issue uh, with the phone, that which is the battery. Any suggestions? My main suggestion is flashing a custom ROM. I know it's not the easiest thing for most people, either that or buy an extended battery. That is the honest answer. Mine shows the widgets that you can put on lock screen. Oh my word, Jared, you missed out, man. I did that earlier. But yes, I'll show the widgets again since, since yeah, you seem like a pretty cool guy. All right, let's see if I can set it up. Let's see if I can get something to stick it down with this time. I ain't got any bloody blue tack. <laughs> I blue tack it to the uh, to the table. Cause, it, Cause the way it's designed, it obviously just kind of slides around on this kind of table I've got here. So I forgot I can stick it on. I'll tell you what, I'll stick it on my wallet. Bloody hell, it seems to slip on bloody leather. We'll try it again anyway. Here we go. So, here we go. Right. So, out of the box, now on here, I've currently got to get to the camera, Jared, if you've not seen it, uh, for the smoking Android, again, go subscribe to him. You slide it that way. The camera is no longer on here. Right. Previously, I used to go, like, obviously, to anywhere, to like there, to unlock the camera this side. It's now on lock on all of them. You can do it and pretty much pull it up, go there, there. It's lock on all sides. So to get to Google Now, you basically tap this, then pull up from the bottom. That's for Google Now, there's for the bottom part here. Um, for the widgets, obviously we'll slide across here. This is the one I'm currently using, which is Falcon widgets, the Falcon widget even. And basically it's just a normal Twitter kind of application, which will uh, give it a refresh. See if anybody that's tweeting me is on the, the actual timeline here. Where the hell did that bloody go? Oh, okay, there it is. So, <laughs> that was a bit weird. Jump back up to the top. Ah, there we go. Hello, Matt Sonner's MCP. Oh, lasagna for sure. Hmm. So, basically, the widgets you can get out of the, you get out of the box, which I'll show you here. You get calendar, digital clock. You don't get Falcon widget. You get Gmail, messaging, and you don't get series guide. You get these here. So you only get one, two, three, four. That's it. That's all you get out of the box, unfortunately. Um, the app, the I've got widgets, obviously, as a widget, but you can't use them on here just yet. These have been updated. For, to actually take advantage of that. 
So have a look at the Gmail one. So you can choose what you want. So let's say I want to choose my inbox. So there it is. Obviously you can now see that my Gmail is there and I believe if he wants to uh actually I don't think you can resize them. No, oh, there we go. He's resized it on its own. So yeah, so obviously you just got your normal kind of Twitter widgets. And again to the camera and then back again. And I'll add another one. But yes, add another one. And it goes from there. So let's say I want to add the calendar. Again, I'll just bring up my calendar. Basically, swipe away, swipe back into it. It's going to bring it all up. And it's not bringing my calendar because it's actually for the wrong account. But yeah, that's pretty much how it works there. And obviously, to unlock. Let's do it again. There we go. Unlock. Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. And go home. So, Google now is exactly the same. It's basically just pulling it up. No difference there, everything's identical. So, yeah, there you go. Hopefully the, that showed enough for you there, Jared. Focus. No, I can't believe it. Matt's on his MCP. He must have new internet access because he just downloaded a ROM within, well, it didn't take him four hours. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I oh know, definitely. The third party star apps with which can be added. Yeah, um, they've just got to modify their framework. That's all they've got to do, Jared. Um, as example, Falcon updated yesterday or the day before to take advantage of it. Apart from that, it wouldn't work prior to that. As long as they update them, like uh, HD widgets and all that kind of stuff, once they're updated, it's going to be awesome. You can be able to update them in a way it's going to go straight away. One thing I'm not too sure is, I don't know if it's straight on your lock screen now, obviously, you've got your clock. So one thing I didn't check is, ah, I now, you can have it like that. So, you know, you don't have to have your camera just there, which I'll show you now, basically tap and hold. I think, uh, hang on, tap and hold. Okay, hang on, it's gonna work this time. Okay, it's not gonna work, this one. Tap on hold, you bring it up like that, move it away to that side there, and if you turn your screen on, turn it back off just to show you, obviously I've got that now on my screen, so actually my camera is always there, I don't think I moved, but yeah, you can swap them around, if you don't want it, tap it, and remove it. I don't know what kind of use that that will be like that in all honesty, because to get to it, I mean, actually have to, I don't know how you could really use it to make full use of the actual screen, because it's there. Um, unless you swipe across that way, swipe back and it's full screen, but in its current iteration, you tap that, that comes up to unlock. That seems a bit silly, personally. I don't really get the idea of that. So I think for me, I'll probably have the clock on there. Or if um, HD widgets or beautiful widgets updates theirs, boom, that'll be on them straight away. Right, back to some questions. Da -da -da. Bloody hell, I've got loads of them now. Um, how many pages of widgets can you have on lock screen? I've not actually checked the ones with you. Um, we'll keep, we'll, we'll keep adding them till we, till we find out. I must add enough for you, Jared. Aha. It looks like you can have one, two, three, four, five, five including the proper one. So it, it, that's pretty much it. So as you probably see now, I've got that one, which is your stock one. Obviously, you've got your camera as well if you want to catch that as a widget. So you may be classes one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you have that and your card anymore. But you probably see that there. You tap it three times. You can now pinch to zoom on the screens for the accessibility features and get it to work. It's not super, super smooth just yet, but it's a new feature they've added to it, to Android 4.2, proper 4.2. Um, whenever I unroot my Galaxy 3, the text message app doesn't even open. Any idea why? Honest answer is no. <laughs> Money are back again. Sam, should I wait for the Net Lumion uh, 920 or the Nexus 4? Depends if you want Windows or Android. It again, 
It's all subject to opinion. When Google got more Nexus 4 stock, do you think it was the same story again? Yeah, I think they're going to have problems with it until next year. <laughs> Sam, got any good apps or suggest for Android? Uh, go check out what's my Android uh, video. There's quite a few on that. 100 megahertz virgin download in Omega, 100 seconds installing now. 100 megahertz? Bloody hell, that, that, that's quite an old school there, Adrian. <laughs> Next is for iPhone 5. iPhone 5, never. What do you think of the Sony Xperia S now as AOA as CP? Well, it's actually been, doesn't have, it doesn't actually have a, um, well, it does, but not officially anymore. They've taken it off the list. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pinch and zoom, that's so awesome. I know, I, I think it's a cool feature, especially for those people that need accessibility features. One reason why a lot of people stick with that with the iPhone is because of the triple tapping to zoom in and zoom out with your fingers and stuff like that. This now effectively has that. Uh, please read out my username. Ruhulaminutaub. Sorry. Um, gig, I meant to say. Yeah, that's what, we, that's what we all say, that Adrian, that's what we all say. Paul, I've been hunting for a round for a well Windows phone or the new Nexus. I'm looking forward to getting a Lumi 920 still. I'm still waiting for Nokia to send a brother one. Nokia! Is the C Pen worth it? It's just a normal stylus, but looks cool. <laughs> Dare I say it? Do you ever get bored with Android? I feel it's a poor man's version of iOS. iOS also bores me. Well, you could if you get bored with Android, simply you change it. With iOS, you just go. Oh. Still got an iPhone. Yeah. Uh, does the UK need the it doesn't does the UK need LTE uh, so soon with the price available lack of HSBC releasing uh, gaining ground? And with the price of with the price that's availability, um, I don't know if you realise, but HSPCA a piece, HSPA Plus is actually being rolled out by none other than the first 4G network. Hmm, weird that. Um, yeah, basically, two is it the Shrews one two three? The UK is now starting to get a better HSPA Plus network. Um, Orange uh, T-Mobile EE, they've turned theirs on fuller. Um, also, O2, they've upgraded their network. It's now uh, HSPA plus network ready. Uh, three have been doing it for a while. Uh, don't know about Vodafone, but the major network's ours. Do you hope Samsung bring back the bounce back scrolling? I have my old Galaxy S, and I think it's uh, used to win the old gingerbread Galaxy S2. Yes and no. It's not a massive feature. It's cool, don't get me wrong, but it's not like I'm going to die if I don't have it. My phone still works. Yeah, with iOS, uh, and me using um, iOS and iPhone, and me using GIF gaff, um, I had to jailbreak it before I could enable the tethering. Yeah, that that's one that's one of the annoying things that Adrian. But no, UK to me doesn't need LTE. Give me better battery life. As soon as I get LTE, I'll probably change my mind. But <laughs> for now, no, I don't. I don't want LTE just yet. I want to get bigger and better batteries. Is the honest answer. Right. Um, I'm not going to be on for much longer. I always say that, but I'm actually not going to be on for much longer now. Um, any other questions here that I can see? Do you do you think tech reviewers like The Verge put too much emphasis on the camera? Um, if it's a camera and it isn't better than the iPhone 5, it automatically sucks. And that's from Samsung Bra. Um, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, the camera needs to be pretty good, but... To me, it's never going to replace a full compact camera yet. Nokia are doing things to replace that, but at the moment, if you want to take good quality snaps that you're going to print out to blow up, use a use a digital camera. But saying that, where do 95% of pictures go nowadays? They go on Facebook. Do you need a massive good camera for that? No, because Facebook compresses it anywhere. It downsize the resolution, so it's pointless. Even when you tweet a picture out, generally it minimizes the picture. You don't need these super duper A4 size kind of quality. It needs to be this big to look on a screen. And this big on a screen this big looks fine. 
That's the Galaxy Nexus. See, I picked the wrong one up then. I meant to pick that one up. <laughs> um, can we buy the Nexus 4 in London and how much will it be? If you want to buy one in London, you can do. If you want to go buy it from a store, it's £400 for more two. You know? Um, do you think Barrett in 2013 would be better? I hope so. He's on his answer. Good question about the camera. Just about every smartphone review I read. Yeah, that, I mean, don't get me wrong. The camera has to be good, adequate, but does it have to be the best of the... No. If you want that, buy a bloody camera. Just saying. What tech YouTubers do I watch? Um, current, to what I say, I've not watched many recently. Uh, not as many as I used to. Um, the main ones that, that I watch at the moment, he's at, he was actually watching, I don't know if he's still in the, the stream at the moment, the Smoking Android, definitely go recommend, uh, go go watching some of uh, uh, Gerard's videos, or Gerard, I kept saying Gerard now, Ugh. Gerard's videos, um, go check him out, uh, I still watch Techno Buffalo quite a lot, uh, John Rettinger's videos, John Fallacres, um, Marquez Brownlee, uh, been watched a lot of his recently, uh, I think it's MKH, I, I always forget the actual Username of it is MKHAB, some HD, B, some. You know who I mean. Um, that's pretty much it recently. Um, I used to watch some other ones, some of the other big ones. And now and again, I watch some Pocket Now videos, but I'm starting to go off their videos in all honesty. It's gone in a different direction. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Oof, Matt Sonis is about to install Paranoid Android on his phone or to his Note 2. So let's all let's all wish it bricks his phone. Let's all pray to the bricking gods. Brick Matt's on as his phone. Just joking with you, Matt. Um, da, 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 da. Do you think it's a good phone? Uh, which, which phone? Hey Sam, what phone do you prefer in terms of performance? Uh, ask me in a bit. I've only had the I had the phone for half a day yet. Uh, so far, it's faster than the Galaxy S3, but I've not used it as much as the S3. So you know, it'll probably slow down over over time. Uh, any any time, Jared. Any time, buddy. Um, can you see Apple all in their dominance going forward in the news? Uh, well, Android is already beaten iOS. And uh, has already beaten Apple and iOS, so the dominance is no longer there. Yes, they sell more than one th one phone, but Samsung are getting very close. You know, you don't sell thirty Galaxy S3s, and is it five Galaxy uh, five one five million Galaxy Note twos? It's a lot of devices. A lot, a lot, a lot of devices. Plain and simple, uh, was the Note 10.1 uh, 10 a total bomb in a bad way? No. If you're going to buy an Android tablet, the Galaxy Note 10.1 is the best on a tablet on the market because you can actually use the features of it. It's got feature design for a tablet. A stock Android tablet, again, as much as it pains me to say it, it sucks. It's not ready. It's just not not ready. That, I know nothing else I can say apart from it's not ready. Are you doing well? Uh, hang on, Team Sam here. Um, had to say hello. Hope you're doing well. You look good with the hair that Yankees hat on. Uh, that's from Tara Tattooed. Thank you very much for that, Tara. Yes, New York Yankees. Um, I'm not a massive baseball fan, but I love baseball caps. You've probably seen in the past that I wear a cap in every video. I normally wear it backwards, which you've probably seen this one. I've got I, I'll give my live stream a bit of a different look today. Um, just a straight up answer, Sam. What is your favourite mobile phone of all time? Ooh, difficult one. Probably between two phones. My Nokia 3310. Love that phone. And HTC, uh, HTC Hero? Yeah, Hero. I almost said Legend. No, HTC Hero. I love that little phone. I love the little ball on it. It was so much fun. Galaxy's fought any speculation. Twice as fast as the Galaxy S3. Can you compare the S3 and the Nexus 4 screen? Again, I'll, I'll be doing that from um, SS Sam Sam. I'll be doing that in a, in a video later on. Much needed opinion. Thank you, Sam. Uh, my decision is now finally is now made, finally. Glad I could help. Nokia 3310 or the Galaxy S3? Well, if you offer me a Mint 3310 with Snake 2 on it, I'd have to take you up on that offer. Now, I used to love my 3310. The whole taking of your freaking the back and the front... Oh my god, it was amazing back in the day. I loved it. Nokia Roll Bricks, Snake was the beast. Ah, oh, tell you something. Nokia, 
this is why I want Nokia to succeed because their build quality and what they're doing is different than everybody else. Yes, they're going to go oh, over on the Windows Phone, but there's it's a different take on it. Yes, it's the same core operating system, but much like Samsung have done with Android, Nokia are trying to do Windows by giving you their exclusive apps. Let's move a pretty damn, thing, a pretty damn spiffer. Why do I say spiffer? I don't know. <laughs> um, what phone has the best screen? Um, yeah, probably the One X still. Um, I'm, I need to compare the One X with my Nexus 4. Um, but off the top of my head, I'm still probably going to, at the moment, yeah, probably HTC One X. But I don't know, this is it's a very, this is one very, very nice screen. It is very, very, don't come off well on camera like now. It looks a bit wishy-washy because of this stupid camera. But no, it's a pretty nice screen. Nokia 33T HD, <laughs> HD with Windows 8. Sign me up. I want one. <laughs> Hell yeah, 3210, uh, yeah, 3210 was basically obviously the little brother, well, the big brother of the 3310. I like the feel and the size of the 3310 better than the 3210, although the 3210 was an absolute beat. You could chuck it against it while I go, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Everyone bangs on about Windows Phone and have lack of apps. How important do you think that is? Uh, I mean, on Android and iOS, how many flashlight apps does one person need? Hey, I have four flashlight apps. Don't you diss them. <laughs> I'm only joking. To be fair, you, you've got a valid point, but at the same time, no Instagram, man. Psst, Windows Phone 8 sucks, no Instagram. Pfft. No, but in all seriousness, uh, Windows 8 is going to get the apps, Windows Phone 8. Um, lack of apps is a problem for most people at the moment, because, you know, not every game's on there. It needs more games than apps, in all honesty. Not for me personally, but for a lot of people that want games. The problem that, that both Android and Windows Phone has against the iPhone iOS is that people have bought into the ecosystem. They've spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds, dollars, rupees, bloody whatever you want to call it, yen. And you know, they've spent all this money on applications. And now what do they do? If they want to get those applications again, they've got to rebuy them. Now, can you let that three, four hundred pounds worth of investment go to one side and start again that's the issue that i think that personally i think microsoft should look at and go right can we do a deal with the app developers where if you've already got the application you get it for half price if microsoft could push something like that with same applications so if you've got angry birds again on your iphone well why am i going to pay the same price again to buy it on another device i already own it why not charge me half the price to have it on another device I think that will be one way to try and combat the ecosystem that Apple have. Will I think it's, do I think it's going to happen? No, because they don't think logically. They think, what can I do? What can I sell this? It don't work like that. Think logically. Think about selling your product to your consumer. If you're going after an iPhone user, you need to get the iPhone user on board. You're not going to get them on board by going, you've spent 500 quid, you've got to spend it again. Give them an incentive to come to your platform. Once you're on the platform, found bloody tastic. They're probably not going to move away, but it's giving that that kind of option to them. Um, if Nokia went to Android, uh, went to Android in the beginning, do you think that it would have been a success? I think it would have been a massive success because what Nokia are good at is hardware and innovation. They would have made, they would have given Android a massive spin on their own their own version of it. It's a shame they didn't go Android. Or did they? Who knows? Is browsing Nexus 4 smooth? So far, it seems pretty decent. Um, again, until you until you really play with it more, on more of a regular basis, more than one day, and more than like six hours, it's hard to judge it in honest, all honesty. Um, da, 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 smooth and smooth Android phone ever. Probably Nexus Four, but again, S three not it's not 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 like it's not smooth. It's bloody well for, well fast. Uh, iPad Mini should have a Retina screen, but we all know that'll be an iPad Mini too. Hey, you don't have one hundred thirty odd billion in cash if you don't do with that. Cool, Sam. Thanks for showing me a bit of Nexus Four. Cool. Uh, yeah, cheers, Jared. I think you might have already gone, buddy. But yeah, um, the smoking Android. Cheers for stopping by, buddy. Um, 
Da, da, da. More questions are here. I need to see them. Seriously, how fast the Nexus 4 compared to the other Android phones in the market? Um, faster? Probably. Do you recommend the S3 or Sanjum or Tennis to the Nexus 4? Because it will reach my country in April. A uh, uh, country maybe in April like the last one. Um, yeah. I mean, they're going to theoretically be the same. Um, I still think that the Nexus 4 hardware internals are going to be better in the long run, is on his answer, because the processor, uh, for those that don't realise, the Galaxy S3 runs an A9 modified pro, uh, kind of you know, ARM processor, whereas the ne Nexus 4, getting all confused, runs an A15 ARM chip, which is the next generation. It's the, next, it's the, it's the same kind of processor that they're using in the Galaxy Nexus 10, Google Nexus 10, uh, that uses the core, uh, the A16 core, a Cortex processor. That's what's going to be the next. Ne that's going to be the next Galaxy S4. So confused with all these bloody names, but no. In the long run, the Nexus 4 has got a better processor going forward, and it's got two gig of RAM over one gig to the S3. They had to push Symbian. Yeah, they should have pushed it out the door sooner than they bloody did. Yeah, Exynos 5, if you want to call it that. It's basically a Cortex-A15 process, uh, processing chip ARM, obviously from ARM, um, but yeah. Sony Xperia S uh, does not have the best screen. Uh, it has a good screen, but it's probably not the best. Uh, one thing, can you show the Nexus 4 next to the S3? How do they compare in size? Um, I've got a massive battery on my, my device, so I'm not going to show you size, but I'll show you... What, Side by side like that. So you see it's a little bit smaller in terms of height. But there you go, there they are side by side. Oops, there we go. Yeah, that's about level. S3 is a tiny bit taller, and that's probably because of the button at the bottom. Although this does have like a little play at the bottom, where it's got the notification LED. Hopefully it's going to flash. Flash! Come on. Um, nice being here. See you later, Sam. Cheers, Steve. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. I'm going to be stopping this one soon as it is anywhere, but thanks for, thanks for dropping by, fella. Uh, any ideas on 4.3? <laughs> uh, I'm not even thinking of 4.3. I, I don't think they'll go 4.3. I think they'll go 5. Next, they're bring the Nexus 5 out. Oof. Android 5 with Nexus 5. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Hey, Sam. Um, will he be giving a giving a giveaway for the Nexus 4? Probably not. He's on his answer. Um, unless someone wants to sell, send me one to give away for free. Um, probably not. Not his on his answer. Um, have anybody's have anybody's that switch from Android to Windows 8? Perhaps are they happy? I don't know many people that have switched from one to the other, <laughs> and that that's the problem. I don't know anyone that has switched from Android. When a lot of people when they go Android, they stay Android. That's then that's kind of what's seeing what I've kind of seen the progression, and you know, I know you know just just off the top of my head I know two people that love Android now that wouldn't have considered it previously. One of them is Matt's on his MCP. Second person is Adrian from Pimp Your iPhone Three G. They was Pimp Your iPhone Three G. It kind of tells you what he had previously. He was a massive iPhone fan. Now he's now he's an Android fan. So you know the LED is just sex. Oh yeah, I love it. I think it's awesome. Hi Sam, um, do you prefer the S3 UI ROM or stock Android? A bit of both. A bit of both. Um, the Nexus 4 is sharper, but it doesn't have the same blacks. Um, I don't think I'm a Nexus 5, maybe the second gen Nexus 4. I don't, I think they'll do Nexus 5. That's what I think they're going to go to next. It's natural progression to go 1080p Nexus 5. Made by HDC. Ooh, sound like a dry DNA to me. When we review the Nexus 4B, uh, once I've had it for more than how many hours have it now? For more than like seven or eight hours. Love Omega ROM so far. Yeah, agreed, Adrian. It's a bloody, it's a very very nice ROM. It's very stock, but you know, that's a cut same time. YouTube, uh, YouTube, get a room. <laughs> does the Nexus 4 have a micro USB, and does it have a micro SD? Yes, it has micro US, uh, USB, but not micro SD. It's just all inside the device. 
do you use dual display on your iMac? I certainly do, as you probably noticed. Uh, I'll show you my iMac now. Got my iMac there, and then got my second display there. So a 27 inch iMac and a 24 inch just at the side of it there. And hello. Uh, one thing I hate about the S3 is the home button. Multitasking is such a pain, um, having to hold it down on the home button. Uh, Samsung bra. I recommend putting another launcher on there and then doing that. That's what I'd say, personally. It seems like there's a couple of issues with the live stream. It keeps just jumping, keep chucking people out from what I've been told. Um, but who knows? Um, isn't it called the Nexus 4 because the screen size? That's correct, 4.7 inch. Um, do you know if the Nexus 4 comes to retail stores? Um, I don't know where you are. Potentially, but at the moment it's not in retail stores apart from in the UK, which is with O2 and T-Mobile in America Which is better the Nexus 4 or S3? I don't know yet. Ask me in about a week time um, What do you think about so many manufacturers having built batteries into the devices? It's kind of a problem for long a long a longevity to be fair how how I am I agree in one aspect I like being able to take the battery out but in the same aspect how long do you have your device for? I upgrade generally at least once a year. Probably more often recently. Batteries last longer than that. You know, it's not good for battery life in terms of if you want to put a bigger battery in it, but it's good in you know in other senses of it that it's all compact and inside the phone. You know, the phone wouldn't look this sleek and sexy if it wasn't all built into it. So it, it's as it is. Just to get out. Tell my dog to get out. Hmm. Pure Android or skinned? Your choice. Pure Android. Uh, when do you think the second gen Nexus 7 is going to come out? Next year. Probably April to August time. Gunners. I'm trying to upgrade my PC. Good luck with the PC. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm totally PCs. Totally PCs. Um. Here we go. True, I do too, uh, but I always want someone else to be happy and then afterwards. It's environmentally irresponsible. It depends. If you recycle your phone, how is that irresponsible? You've got to read, that's the thing, is you've got to recycle your phone. Black S3 with looks almost identical to the Nexus 4 at first glance. Um, I don't think it does. Um, you're probably looking at uh, Mark as uh, Brownlee's videos. Because I can, I can still see the button. I can still see the button and it kind of annoys me. Um, plus, I just, I, just, I just love the LED notification in the bottom of it. Boom, come on. Focus, 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 and show them. Show them the button. Boom. How sexy does that look? No, it just looks nice, sleek and sexy. It just looks awesome. Cheers, Paul. Uh, thanks for coming, buddy. Much appreciated. What is three best Android phones? Um, Note 2, S3, Galaxy Nexus 4. Google Nexus 4. I'm always going to say Galaxy Nexus. Damn you, Samsung. How old am I? Have a guess how old I am. Um, once somebody gets my age correctly, I'm going to be stopping the, the live stream. And if you, are, if you have watched this video and you're still watching now, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It is very much appreciated. Can't wait to get my hands on fire. I saw my Galaxy Nexus too early now. I have to wait 15 days. That kind of sucks, man. Yeah, the LED did look pretty cool, didn't it? It looked pretty... I, I think it was pretty damn, pretty damn awesome. Thank you for everyone that's just liked the video. Much appreciated. You were very close with that first question. Very, very close to that with that, with that first answer, should I say. Um, I'll tell you my age. I am 27 years old. Now, if I take my beard off, I don't look as old as I do now. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm 27 years old. How old do you think Matt's on his MCP is? I know he looks about 40, but he's actually not, believe it or not. He's a bit younger than 40. <laughs> he loved me for saying that. Seems like there's been a couple of issues with regards to the live stream tonight. Thank you to everyone that has liked the video that is currently still watching. It shows me two people are watching, 
but I'm getting more questions than two. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna assume there's more than two people there. I don't know. It could not be, it might be, it might be, it might not be, who knows? Right. Da -da -da. There we go. Sorry about this people, it's um YouTube is a bit of a bitch at times. Yeah, I won. <laughs> Uh, love your videos, keep it up. Thank you very much for that Austin's Galaxy. Much appreciated, buddy. Best wife-friendly smartphone right now. A Nokia Lumia 800. Trust me. She will never, never bug you with it. Hi from Greece. Oh, hello there, Greece. Um, that's from GamerGR200. Hello from Greece. Um, waiting for more videos Nexus 4. I'll be doing quite a few videos tomorrow when the light is good. I'll be doing the camera tests um, and some benchmarking tests. They'll be uploaded tomorrow. Nexus uh, 4 versus Note 2. I don't have a Note 2, so I won't be doing those videos. Unless Matt Saunders MCP wants to pop up to my house and I'll use his Note 2. Who knows? Tweet him, tell me if you want me to do that. Sam, um, add up all your tech and tell us how much value for all. <laughs> Bloody no, because I'll cry. Uh, don't thank us, uh, thank yourself for giving time and knowledge. Yeah, yeah, th yeah. Mm. <laughs> thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying it. Yeah, Adrian, if I did that, I'd probably cry. He's on his answer, buddy. Um, I mean, just looking at what I just looking down and looking to the side, it makes me want to go like, really? I did I spend that much on stuff? Look behind me. Oh my god, I can see the camera just there. So I know there's nothing behind me apart from. Uh, <laughs> well, Nexus 4, iPad Mini, iPad 4th generation, Nexus 7. And there's a phone here, which is the HTC One S, which I'm giving away. That's the phone I'm giving away. So, yeah. And then we've got S3, Nexus 4, iPhone 5, Nexus, Galaxy Nexus. And they're all on an iPad. It sometimes makes me cry how much I spend on technology. But then at the same point, I go, well, I'm not a person that goes out, gets pissed up every Friday, Saturday night. I spend my stuff on some, something I want. So I don't piss it away. To put it in, a, in the blunt and layman's terms that most people will be able to you know, understand. Uh, your voice is practically orgasmic. Now, I wish you was if, what, if I wish you were like a hot female. and That would be awesome. I'd just talk to him like, Oh, Sam, that would be pretty epic, but I'm going to guess you're probably not, which makes me sad. Anyway, um, where do I live? Where do I live? I live in England. Oh, I live in West Yorkshire, which is, a count well, Yorkshire's a county within England, and then I live in the west part of the Yorkshire. Um, can you try Chrome uh, for a bra, there's no browser, Samsung bra. Yeah, I'll probably do that Samsung bra. I'm going to be testing those out. Uh, thanks, Sam, for giving us more than anyone else. Well, I, I try. I, just, I only do the live streams because people want me to do them. Um, I do enjoy them when I get going, honest answer. But, you know, uh, it's for people that go like, oh, Sam, you doing a live stream? Doing a live stream? When's your next live stream, Sam? Sam, when's your next live stream? So I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm doing one, I'm doing one. Give me time, give me time. And this one was a spur of the moment. And I had a lot more people come in at one point when I thought I was going to. Again, it's just two people. But I'm going to think it's probably not more than two people here. Who knows? Uh, when did you give away? I got with the 1X, but I miss AMOLED screens. It's when I hit 20,000 subscribers is my giveaway. Can you make a Nexus 4 versus iPhone 5? That is on the equi that is on the, uh, the agenda. Best manufacturer smartphone this year. Ooh, it's a tough one. For design and feel, I probably still hit, still hit, still say HTC, but they use a crap processor. So I'm not going to use a Tegra. Should not use a Tegra. Are you uh, going to put in any kind of case in the Nexus Four? Um, yeah, probably. At the moment, it's naked, and that's how I like it. <laughs> Sixteen gigabyte version as well. Uh, did you say something else? Oh, oh, hey, I nearly had a freaking heart attack. See, six hundred and fifty for an iPhone Five. You are shitting me. Tell them they can buy mine. But yeah. You make your law look so good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, 
Oh, emails from my uh, YouTube partnership. Um, I'm the only one who hits Chrome. For, no, I, I hate Chrome on a mobile device as well. I'm not a massive fan of it. What do you think of Samsung piss take advert of Apple? Fantastic. More people should make them. Um, great. Can't subscribe twice that as I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I wish everyone could subscribe twice. That'd be awesome. Thanks for the awesome live stream. It's uh, one a.m. here in Latvia. Bloody hell, one a.m. in Latvia. It's coming up to eleven p.m. in England. Um, yeah, Nick Nathan Phillips says naked all the way. That's fine as well. A bit like a bit of a naked lady, and my phone is my lady. Like that sounds really wrong. You know what I mean? Hopefully, no homo. Oh, what? What me? No, no homo. What football club am I a fan of? It will be the mighty Manchester United. Yes, I know I live in Yorkshire. I'm a United fan. It happens. Sorry I'm late from Thrasher 5005. Well, Thrasher, I'm not going to be on for much longer, buddy. Um, I am going to be going pretty soon. Sorry. But no, I've, I've enjoyed it tonight. Uh, I think the, the statistics have come up a bit weird. But it's where it works. It's how it works. Microsoft's had where they cut the iPad um, hand off. Yeah, that was funny. I like died that one. It's almost 10 a.m. Um, here in Australia. So Samsung bra, man, you're going to hook me up. You're going to set me up with a, with like a little plus lift for a couple of weeks, yeah? <laughs> um, where do you work? Um, is this your job? Um, heck yeah, no homo. Oh, Nathan, why no homo, man? Um, this is not my job. Um, this is supplementary to my job. Um, and I work in a mobile phone shop. That's my, that's kind of like the guaranteed income. Um, and then obviously whatever I can make off YouTube generally goes back into buying these play things. So yeah. People that think that YouTubers make shitloads of money. No. You might make a bit of money, but then I'll go and buy this crap to review for you guys. So you watching the videos, me earning the money for it, is basically put back into buying this kind of stuff for you guys to view again. So it's kind of like a, a magic circle. Um, the different, the, the good part of it is I get to play with it all, but that's pretty much it. So, um, cough, Gloris Potter, cough. Blame my cousin. What I say? Go on, Rav, uh, RVP Arunian skulls equals rape at the backside. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, can you play a song, a song in the Nexus Four? I seriously need to check the speaker. Uh, I did one earlier. It sounds pretty good, but it's lacking of bass. There's no bass to it at all. What's my everyday phone? My new everyday phone will be the Nexus 4. And by its in the other pocket will be the S3. I mean, I would like to keep the iPhone 5, but I can probably sell it for a good price. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you think Apple's uh, best days have passed? Two years ago, personally. Damn, I thought that was my phone. Yeah, I know. I don't know which phone it was. I've got four phones in front of me. I don't know which one it was. They were just, they, one of them vibrated. I don't know which one, though. Um, what's the secret to wearing a hat all the time? Well, it's, you know, it's because of my sexy bastard. Um, <laughs> now, I like wearing hats. Um, everyone's got their own little niche, an online kind of thing. Um, well, not everyone, but some people have. Some people have a catchphrase, um, you know. Like, hello, welcome back to another video. Guess who that is? Let's see if you can guess. Let's see if you can guess who that is. Um, why don't you get your employee to sponsor you? Because they're idiots. Oh, I'm sorry if you're watching this stream. Um, you're running out of of pocket, bra. Yeah, I, I've run. I've got I've got pants with four pockets on Adrian, so I can fit more. So I can fit more devices in my in my thing. Is I've currently got eight different phones. I need to start selling a couple of them. Do you like jailbreaking? Well, it really depends. I've not really been in jail that often, so you know I probably would if I was in jail, but I can't really comment on that to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> um, damn, nope. Damn. Does the iPhone 5 not excite you? No. Hello. Just said. Um, 
John Reggie Bibby. Yeah, John's got some amazing, he's got some pretty cool the way he says a lot of stuff. No, that's why he's got he's got quite a lot of fans that that like his kind of style. Um, and I I, want to, I I like his style as well. I just hope they're not going to go. They've, they've started changing the ways of the current videos. I don't like it. it. Should go back to his old stuff. Personally, it's my personal one. Excited for tomorrow, Manchester match. Yeah, I mean Norwich. It's against Norwich. I think it is. Yeah, we should beat Norwich. Cargo pants. That's kind of what I'm wearing now. Could you make a drop test with the Nexus Four? Um, if I'm dropping it on your face. No, I'm not doing a drop test with the Nexus 4. Sorry, it's not going to happen. When is the Nexus 4 review? Um, probably about a week's time. What's your favourite phone? S3, I'd probably still say, because I've only just got the Nexus 4. Uh, Sammy Style? Yeah, man, this is Sammy Style. Affliction. So did, did anyone get what I said with the as to my... Um, but it wasn't John Rettinger, by the way. It was somebody else. Does anyone get what, who they, the intro I just did then? Let's see if anyone knows it. I'll do, I'll, I'll do, the, I'll do it again. If anyone knows who it is, uh, you get 100 Twitter points. I don't know what they're gonna be used for, but you get 100 Twitter points. I'm gonna, I'll bring some up later and it's... <clears throat> Ready? Hello and welcome back to another video. Who is that? Who does that in their videos? The beginning of pretty much all of them. Let's see if you know who it is. It's not smoking Android, nope. Can you do a Bane voice with this? Probably not, no. Um, I have a Nexus 7, a Motorola Defy. Do you think it's worth upgrading to the Nexus 4 or should I find something else? If you like your Nexus 7, get a Nexus 4. Do you follow the UFC? I certainly do. I'll be watching uh, this. I think it's this weekend. Favorite fighter? It's a tough one. Is that Frankie Edgar? Probably. The guy's a little is a beast. No, don't drop the Nexus Four. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, Brandon Minimum? Nope. The Geekanoids? It's nope. Um, Aaron from Phone Dog? It's not. Nope. It's not me. Next seven or iPad Mini, iPad Mini. Um, what did I say that? Nope, ain't got a ain't got a jar of glue. What about Phone Arena? This is John from Phone Arena. That was Matt. Matt, what though? Uh, just wondering. Uh, but do you watch Real William Johnson? Yeah, I watch some of them. I don't watch all of them because they. I don't know, kind of got a bit boring. Phone Dog. I think it was Aaron from Phone Dog. It's not Aaron from Phone Dog. It's not a Vora, nope. It's not TLD today. Um, none of you, none of you have really got it yet. I'll do it one more time, one more time for everybody. My impression of the person, you know, and he used to do it all the time. <clears throat> he's gonna hate me if he's watching this right now. Better. Hello and welcome back to another video. There we go. Somebody's got it. Are you watching? I am watching GSP versus Condit tomorrow. GSP is going to win, I think, personally. He's just a beast at times. But, yeah. Um, oh, wait, I got it. Yep. Will you upload uh, this to YouTube after? Yes, Samsung Bra. It automatically goes it goes live. So, it'll automatically upload it straight away. Um, Martin in Littlewood, the YouTube gamer guy. Um, it wasn't him, no. It was Matt Saunders MCP. Windows or Mac? Mac. Yeah. Uh, was it lock? Yeah, well, come on, I won't be like Chris Perillo. Chris Perillo's more like, even more like a, <laughs> I'm Chris Perillo. <laughs> Actually, it's not like that, but he, he gets very excitable. He's like, oh, all over the place. You gotta love it though at times. And I think the guy is like 40, but he still acts like he's 15 or 16. You gotta love the enthusiasm, man. The enthusiasm he has at times just <laughs> blows your mind. Condit's going to put more than the fight. Yeah, and I agree. Condit's a lot better fight than me people are saying, but I think GSP is still going to have too much for him because I think the hype, he can live with the hype. Condit with the hype of the show, he might crumble a bit. I think that's going to be the issue. Not his technical abilities, but you know, Nexus Four or Droid DNA, personal choice. Nexus Four because I don't think that 
similar size battery, but one's got 1080p, one's 720. 1080p is going to destroy your battery. Awesome life, Sam. Thank you very much. And yeah, he's definitely a veteran. Definitely a veteran. No, I've been honest with you, I, I went off, um, off some of the way Chris Pillar does some of his stuff a while ago, but I've got back into a lot of his stuff recently because he's kind of... How can I say? He's, he's giving stuff more of a chance nowadays. In the past, it was just like, nah, it's rubbish, it's not an iPhone. And that's how, I, that's how it came across to me. Whereas nowadays, it's more of a, a, a good opinionated kind of response. Gives you the good, gives you the bads. And that's what I like in a tech, that's what I like when I'm watching a tech reviewer. I want to know what something like, not just, oh, it's not this, not as good as this, it's rubbish. That wasn't good, I don't like that. But no, I'm, I, I like the current ways, doing ways current reviews. It's Windows RT review. If you've not seen the Windows Surface RT, Go watch that. That a very very good review is that one. You think the Sony Nexus is going to be a real thing? Probably not. No. When are you going to compare the Nexus 4 with the S3? Um, sometime this week. Uh, you on pocket now are the best. I wish I could uh, sit long in front of you, but it's one a.m. here. Uh, game fight tomorrow if I don't go. Cheers, Sam. Uh, cheers, dude. Much appreciated. It's Mustafa. I'm probably going to ruin it, ruin your name here, but it's Mustafa Nasari Karam. Sorry, I forgot. Let's call you Mustafa Karam. There we go. Oh, we'll, we'll shorten your name. Um, Chris Puller says, it's a draw between Windows and Mac. I'm more of a Mac man, personally. Um, I like the way it works. It's more productive for me. It's, you know, it's all down to personal opinion, you know. Hey Sam, um, I don't know if you've already talked about Windows 8. I would like to know what you think. Crap. I don't like it. Looking at both specs, the S3 and the HTC One X. The One X is apparently better in everywhere, but the S3 still seems to be better in, in everyday use. I don't get it. Um, define better on, on paper, because the only thing that's better on paper, personally, um, is the screen. But I, I prefer AMOLED than, than that, in all honesty. The Nexus 4 is going to potentially swim it. Again, I've been using the iPhone 5, so I'm getting used to the not pure blacks as they were, but we'll see how it's going to be. Staying up late watching this um, is going to make me late for the Liverpool versus Wigan game tomorrow. To be fair, Wigan are going to destroy Liverpool anyway, so there's probably no point going. <laughs> Windows is a lot better to me. There we go. Everyone has their own opinion. I'm, I'm a Mac fan, personally. It wasn't techno buffalo, it was Matt's on his MCP. The best smartphone screen protector? Um, depends what kind of protection you want. I'm personally a fan of the nano crystal protectors from SGP. Um, or if you've got a curved screen like the S3, the curved crystal is a very nice one. Thanks, you answered all my questions. Uh, thank you for coming along there, Skate 211 Thrasher. Um, HTC One X Plus, will we be getting it? Probably not, unless somebody wants to send me one to review. But I won't be going out to buy one. Probably gonna, I need to sell my own One X as it is. I've still got that set over there, so no. Um, you found from Egypt? Wow, Another, oh, that's two people from Egypt about tonight. That's pretty awesome. Liverpool history, exactly, it is history. What have you done? What have you done recently? How much? iPhone 5 or Nexus 4? Nexus 4 all day long. CNET. But. Right, people. I am going to end this in five minutes. I'm going to go off in five minutes. So if you've got any final questions you want uh, on the Nexus 4, anything Android, iOS, technology related, basically, uh, put them down below or tweet me at Sam J. Pullum. Um, and I will do as many as I can answer in the next five minutes. So go, go, go. A bit late to the party, Nexus 4 S3 from Robert Duffy. Um, ask me again in about a week for that one there, Rob. Um, I'm not too sure just yet. Guess is the, the Galaxy 3 running 4.2 when, what will it look like? It'll look like it does now, but it'll be running 4.2. That's pretty much it. No MS first unbox room. No, no surface review probably coming soon. I'm not interested in it. Um, unless I can get one on review as a loan unit, then probably not. I'm not looking to splash down £500 for one. 
on something that I probably won't like. It's the honest answer. If you're still watching this video now and you've not liked, please do hit that like button. It, it is very much appreciated. And believe it or not, it, it does actually help. People think it doesn't help. Uh, if you like, like, if you see anybody's videos and you like it, hit the like button. It helps everybody's videos. So always hit the like button if you if you are not just my videos, anybody else's videos that does YouTube. If you appreciate what they do. Are you going to compare the Nexus 10 against the Nexus 4? I'm not going to be doing that, no. It's not stupid to do, but it's not something I'm going to be doing. Nexus 4 or Galaxy 3 screen, probably S3 still at the moment. Um, the Nexus 4 screen's sharper, it's clearer, but it's the blacks. The good, the good blacks for the LCD, but I'm used to AMOLED pure black, but we'll see. We'll see how it's going to go. Am I going to get the Droid DNA? Um, not yet. It's not out in England, or it's not announced for England, so currently no. But if it comes to it, I probably will. I'll probably try it. Google still doesn't have a percentage by indicator. Epic fail. Um, let's have a look. Da -da -da -da. No, I still don't. Not, not, not stock anywhere. It's not a fail. Well, to be fair, actually, they've kind of, they have kind of taken it up for you. Um, who was the one that said that? Where is it? Uh, Samsung Bra. Right, dude. They've not got it on the top, like there, but if you go to the new settings, it has it there. Focus. There you go. So you got the battery percentage there instead, which yeah, I know it's not on the actual thing at the top, but they've kind of fixed it a little bit. Um, does the screen look washed out compared to the S3? Um, One X or I Fag Five, Fag Phone, Fag Phone Five. Um, it doesn't look washed out. It just doesn't look. It's not pure black like the AMOLED screens are. Uh, must have apps for Android tablets, uh, an iPad. Um, <laughs> cheers, will do because you, uh, you, I'm getting a phone for Christmas. Uh, I think the Nexus Four, Nexus Four is probably a good be a good bet. Does your Nexus Seven have a loose screen problem? I didn't. Mine's actually one of the perfect ones. <laughs> Are you going to get a Nexus Ten? And no, I'm not going to get a Nexus Ten. Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Um, I have a Galaxy S Two with an extended battery. Shall I upgrade to the Nexus Four? Um, worried about the battery life. If ask me in a week. I'll tell you what the battery's life. Just only 4.1.2 for the Galaxy S2. Will you have any updates for the S2 when the update comes? Um, probably not, in all honesty. I don't know, I might do. I mean, I've still got the S2, so potentially. Thanks for this great show. Uh, your fan from uh, Lebanon. Bloody hell, Lebanon. You know? and that's from Abbas Karake. Is it Karake? Eh? Is the mm -hmm. iMac screen um, a nice display? The iMac screen is a bloody fantastic display. Two finger swipe down, yeah. That's still annoying. Eh, it is a little bit, but it's, it's technically still there. So let's, you know, it's still there. That's, it's not too bad. Is the, um, is the Queen of England have the Galaxy Note 10.1 railer? Uh, I don't think so. I think I was published there. Uh, live streams are sick, man. I love them. Thanks for answering my questions. Need to sleep to support Liverpool. Shame you're not a fan. Yeah, unfortunately not. iPad 4 and Nexus 10. iPad 4. Oh, I'd think then, but not iPad 4, definitely. Could you show the Nexus 4 with another browser, Dolphin browser? Um, I'll probably do that in another in a video. But the Nexus 10 looks amazing. It looks amazing, but it's got sharps. <laughs> Is the honest answer. It's just not good enough. Um, da -da -da. We have... Uh, Thanks for a great show. You found from Stoke. Hey, up from Stoke. If Matt Sanders is watching, we've got somebody from Stoke here, bet. She does. It was given a um, it was given a digital cam capsule. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she actually owns one because we all know she actually owns. She had an i she had an iPad. Now whether Samsung gave her a Note ten point one, and she stuck it in there because she didn't like it, that's you know we don't know. We got Cheezo five four five four five. Thanks for answering all my questions. Your fan from the Jordan, Jordan Lebanon. Bloody hell, we're across the world at the moment. We're everywhere. Um, 
great live stream. You actually answer people's questions. Let Sam, chase Samsung bra. And yeah, I will I try and do as many questions as I possibly can. I've gone over the five minute, but I'll answer these last ones. Uh, Apple or Android? Well, one's an operating system, one's a company. When you say shit apps, do you mean tablet optimized apps? That aren't as good as the iPad. I exactly mean that, Richard. There's no, t there's no real tablet optimized applications because Android doesn't offer that facility of having one app to have both. You need to have separate apps, and I don't like that option. And there's not even that many. Um, next of all, get help with every use. Not so far. Uh, thanks for your help from Malta. Thank you very much. And Ireland from Robert Duffy. And that was Glenn Grimmer from Malta. Um, we've got ILYK2 Porn, P W P W N, uh, from Birmingham. I'm from Birmingham. Was that okay? Was that my... No offence. The Nexus 10 um, has an amazing screen. To me, it's better than the iPad 4. Don't matter if you've got... It's like me saying, well, you know, I've got this amazing screen. It looks so good. But when you put an application, it looks like shit. And again, sorry for my choice of words, but it is. Scaled up applications in Android don't look good. Sorry, seeing it was in regards to the voice guessing game. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, no, he wasn't, unfortunately. <laughs> um, GGS, good guy, Sam. Thanks for this, pal. Cheers, uh, Zeus Pawns. No. Um, if you had to watch one YouTuber for the rest of your life, who would it be? Grace Helbig. Oh, yes, I would watch Grace Helbig all day long. I would never turn Grace, Grace Helbig off if I, could, if I didn't have to. Yeah. That's, that sounds really creepy, doesn't it? But no, um, Daily Grace, Grace Helbig. The next is, as far as very cheap, what's the catch? The catch is, you need to get, you need to try and get one. Uh, what would you like to, uh, what would you like to see the flexible Samsung screens in? Do you think we could be done wherever? It, flexible screens mean nothing, in all honesty. It's just, there's no point of it. What's, what are you going to do? Go like, oh, look, here's my smartphone. <laughs> Really? True about spec stretch. That's the th that's the problem with Thrasher. It is applications look crap when they're being stretched. Keep the Nexus four videos coming, Sam. We'll be looking out for them. We'll be doing Robert. Don't worry about that. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the live stream there, Sam. Oh, thanks, Sam. Thanks, mate, for the live stream. Cheers, Adrian. Much appreciate for watching, buddy. Right, I'm finally going to get off. And it's a weird thing. As soon as I say I'm going to get in, I'm getting off. More people come to watch. It's always the case. It's always the case. Um, is the Nick and Colpix P510 better than a Panasonic Lumix? Um, well, they're, they're both better than the iPod 5th generation touch, <laughs> iPod 5th generation camera. So, you know, you go, girl. You, what, what, what? Come, come again. Thank you very much for this video. Good night from Italy. Thank you very much, and that's great, great Diamond 91. Thank you for coming along to watch. It's been very much appreciated. Right, we're going off in one minute time. So when the clock hits 20 minutes past 11, I'll be going offline, he says. And then he'll get another 10 questions and I'll start answering one. Are you going to route your Nexus 4? Um, not at the moment, but possibly. Uh, thank you for coming along, Thrasher. Much appreciated. Uh, cheers, Richard. Uh, cheers, fellow Yorkshire man signing off. See you later, buddy. Is Google Music practical? Very practical, as long as you've got a decent data limit. Or if you're on Wi-Fi. So, yeah. Right, people, that is it. It is 20 past 11. Uh, I've done about two hours of live stream. I wasn't going to I wasn't, I wasn't gonna come on for about 45 minutes. But as always, it's gone over. It's about two hours now. So, it always happens. It always bloody happens. But it's always been good fun. Uh, much appreciate everyone's come out. Again, if you're not following me on Twitter, I'm at Sam J. Pullum. Which is boom! Look at that bad boy. That should pop up just about there. And yeah, so at Sam Jepple on Twitter. If you're not subscribed and if you're just just coming along now and you want to subscribe, please do subscribe. I've got loads of videos on the way. And if you've enjoyed this live stream, do hit the like button. Again, they all do help. Anyway, people, thank you for watching. And yeah, you'll see me in my next video. Cheers, everyone.